uh, in this session uh, we are going to discuss theoretically um, the type 2 implementation and practically we will see in the next session so type 2 implementation is to have a, a current plus historical record so type 2 means maintaining current plus historical records so how do we maintain and in which case we do maintain and what are the rules we require such all information we will see so when you want to implement type 2 first thing is we have to uh, take a scd columns so scd scd means slowly changing scd means slowly changing slowly changing columns changing dimensions we can say but uh, columns key columns are called as scd columns are possible changing columns so we can give any name so first you need to identify them okay but uh, but according to the requirement that would be and uh, there are some rules rules means like uh, when you come with some uh, experience you should say in professional some attributes should be maintained okay the first concept is that we need to make sure the source primary key should not be a primary key here should not be a primary key here so here source means like uh, dbms and here means like a uh, data warehouse that is what uh, the first and most important thing and there should be a new column as surrogate key there should be a new column as surrogate key surrogate key and the third one the same concept there should be a new column as current flag and the fourth one there should be a new color as start date and which is also named as uh, uh, start date as effective timestamp as effective timestamp and a termination timestamp that is end date and the last one and uh, some important again which is uh, but mostly we don't use this ver version this attribute as version so when you are a learner please mm, think these are like rules to implement type 2 but when you are uh, a professional think them these are like maintaining attributes okay i'll just uh, keep them in a notepad aside and I, now I'll try to implement this type to theoretically. I have employee ID. I'll give you the uh, problem and I'll give you the solution even. I have the source like employee ID, employee name, and uh, I have employees status and employees city. And I have employee. I have employees ID, employees name, employees status, employees cities, employees joining date. Maybe employees end date also will be there, but we cannot give exact value as of now, but uh, will be there. Most cases, people will jump from one company to another company easily. So employee name some A, and uh, I want to make employee status as single, and employee city, the work location would be Hyderabad and um, employees joining date would be some 2015 0209 something i'm giving uh, not particular value something values i'm giving 
okay and that uh, i don't know have a value till now he is in same conversation so tomorrow if it get changes i'll change that but until that time i'll give a default date double and double and i felt on 31 which is a default date so here also again i'm going to make another record and uh, this employee id is 102 and uh, it is like b and I, I single and because of due to Hyderabad, I'll make Chennai. I'm sorry, Bangalore I'll make first. No. Okay. okay, and uh, values I'll make it as 14. And this I'll make same. I'll give it as same. And I have one or three employee and uh, ABC and uh, he's from Chennai. So now uh, this employee is also working for uh, 13th uh, from 13th year, I guess, 2015 year, we'll say. And the date would default date would be the same. So now what is the problem and what is the issue I want to implement type 2 is I have three employees working in three different locations. I want to make these employees, uh, they are working temporarily. For example, I have seen that the Bangalore related person is working in Hyderabad and Hyderabad related person is working in Chennai and Chennai related person working in Hyderabad. Vice versa, I am seeing. I want to see whether this employee is working in their own uh, city, will it be uh, benefit or loss uh, to the company. So for this, I want to make this employee to work in three different locations per one year and see uh, whether uh, uh, where I can make them permanent. So for that, I'm taking one column as, and this would be your primary. And uh, I'll take uh, employees surrogate key and employee ID and employees name and employee status. and employee city and employee joining data given at that column i'm going to make it as employee effective timestamp effective timestamp and next i'm going to make it as employees end date and that i'll make it as termination timestamp employee termination timestamp this is terminology in the real time of data virus project and what, what are the attributes that I want to maintain? First rule is like source primary key should not be a primary key. Second rule is uh, there should be a surrogate key. I have given the surrogate key column. And next, current flag. Current flag. And next, uh, started and ended, effective timestamp and termination timestamp. Current flag and a version. Now, so the first time the records are flowing into the output. So surrogate key, I'll give like 1001. I started sequence with 1001. So the first time as it is the data executes to this. Okay. And uh, the surrogate key, I'll generate 1001. And here 1002 and here I'm going to put it as 1003. Now surrogate key, employee ID, name, status, Hyderabad city and employee joining date, end date, termination date. Current flag, how it is going to generate, I'll tell you. Current flag it will be generated with a condition. What is that condition means? Current flag, what condition I write? If termination timestamp is not equal to double line, double line, hyphen 12, double line, double line, hyphen 12, 31, then it should be at even then it should be no else it should be y not no and s 
it's like yn which is current record and historical record so based on this condition three of them are y only and the next i have a column called version column and by default i'll get one how it get one i'll tell you we'll wait for some time okay so this is uh, your first run and the second run as per my requirement see first of all you need to choose your std columns as a discussed so the rule is employee id which is a unique and employee city is the possible changing column because in my requirement uh, what happens i was remove moving one employee to one place to another employee another place each employee so my requirement is city city get changes every time so i need to capture that so employee city would be my key column and with that key column you should have one unique key column so that is why i am putting these two as key columns so in these two key columns if the combination getting changed then it will insert as a new record in the transfer in the data set job in type to implementation how we will do theoretically i am showing practically we do it in tool now the first time i am terminating this employee from hyderabad on 2016-0206. So when I do this change, automatically here also the change gets implemented. 2016-0206. When this got changed, automatically current flag because of this condition, current flag makes into N. So after termination Hyderabad, I given place in Bangalore to him. I have given as a Bangalore. So that the start date will be joy, uh, replaced with uh, 2016. We'll give two days of time to report in Bangalore. And in Bangalore, uh, end date would be double line, double line, hyphen 12, 31. So this would be the change. Now, 101 employee Bangalore, it is coming, but before 101 employee is in Hyderabad. So now when I see this record, automatically this record will be inserted newly. Inserted newly. So the surrogate key would be 1004. And uh, employee ID is same. And uh, now what is the condition for current flag? Y. And it is change of two, yes, because this is second record. And after one year, assume that from Bangalore, he want to move to Chennai. So he terminated in the Bangalore location. So the Bangalore location termination date would be 07 and 02 and 08. So obviously this date also will change. 2017 obviously it will go to n so whenever the record is current flag shows y that is current record and n means historical record and again after one year he moves to chennai he moves to chennai so again he terminated from bangalore i'm showing with one record this can be mapped with any number of records And uh, this joining date would be 2018. I'll go after two days, 10. And this uh, date would be after Chennai. Chennai, Chennai, November 31. So this is third record of the same employee. 10.005. So yes, Indian, Chennai, start date, and this is the current record. So what is my analysis now I'm doing is, I want to see which employee is working in which city properly, and in that, in that city, I want to make him permanent. Whether he's native place or not native place, I'm not sure, but I want to make him in that place permanent. So here I can see where in which location he is working, but I cannot tell in which where he is working uh, efficiently because I don't have his rating column. So that rating column in, in the fact table. So employee ID and employee salary and 
employees rating rating girl employee id 101 and here i can give the circuit key also circuit key should be there because based on that only we are going to do join So salary something. I'm not bothered about salary. So the first rule says what the source primary key should not be a primary key here because why see in the dimension table if it is the primary key again the same it will not allow the duplicate that is the reason it will tell that the the source primary key should not be a primary key here so now i can i tell that where is working fine uh effective where he is giving good efforts i'll i can tell so how can i tell that using this rating column see one not one employee when he is working in 1001 in hyderabad he got two rating this is opposite like uh, out of five if you get five immediately we should terminate him out of five if he get uh, three four it is one more chance we need to provide three means Uh, default rating, good rating. Four means, uh, sorry, two means very good. One means excellent. So he got excellent rating in Chennai because of one zero zero five, one zero zero five join. We need to perform on the fact table. So this is your fact and this is your damage. So based on this, you can tell that where he is working effectively. So this is what uh, uh, type two implementation theoretically. So if permits, time permits, we see in. practically with the tool data stage okay uh, thanks for watching this video thanks for your time